Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, yes, I hit 100 subscribers. I want to thank Claudia Gardenes, uh Angelina, and uh, Riddlesit Rose. Every time they go live, whatever, they always shout me out, tell them to go subscribe to me. So I've already hit my 100. I've already hit my 100. So I'm thinking of a, of a middle point of what number, how many subbies... I should my goal basically of how many subbies I should hit before the end of this year to do a giveaway in the beginning of next year. So uh, so today I'll be doing nothing fancy. We have a Circle K store that I was out putting gas after school, and I got myself some chili dogs. Look at that. So it's just. Simple, and I also have a bag of chips of loaded, loaded bacon cheddar potato skins. I have these. Out. We try these out, and of course, a uh, cherry coke fountain drink. So, I'm just gonna give you a little. How can I say? In scoop of my weekend. How about that? Well. This past weekend, I was in Dallas, Fort Worth. I was helping them with their Pride, the Tarrant County Pride Festival. And I know my aunt Claudia them know. Um, I think Rose probably knows. I don't think Anthony knows, but I'm very heavily into volunteering with San Antonio Pride. And we do a lot. Just a big old festival, a parade, um, just supporting each other as one, as humans. Um, so, I do a lot with San Antonio and their pride. Um, so, often, sometimes they'll ask me if I want to go to different cities and help them promote San Antonio's pride over there and there. At their event, at their festivals, we just set up a booth and we play games and we have fun. So it's totally fun. So it was a whole weekend over there in Fort Worth, Texas, um, in Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was my first time going out there with them because I've been to um, Austin. The only one I've been to was Austin so far with them, but Fort Worth was was pretty good. Um, and oh wait. I got something from Fort Worth that really made my skin, I'll talk about it in a bit, very soft. And look at this, it's gonna go into this. It's probably gonna be messy, but look at that. Chili cheese hot dog. Mm-hmm, really good. Okay. So, I had to work on Friday, so, Friday, we left here at, I got off work at, I got off work at 11, and we went to go pick up the people that were going to go with me, and then we were out on the road by 12 midnight, by midnight, we were already driving out there. Got to Fort Worth at 4.30 in the morning. I checked into the hotel, unwinded, relaxed. I took a little nap, about an hour, uh, two or three hour nap. Because we had to be at the festival. Oh, we had to be at the parade. The parade started at 11. And we had to be there by... 9 30 10 o'clock to be parked by there so um, the parade went fine fabulous um not as that big not as big i thought it was gonna be i thought fort worth probably was gonna be a little bit bigger but 
Um, it was alright. But, so they did the parade, and at the end of the parade, they have, um, I think, a mini festival that they have. It's a very small festival that they have at the Water Gardens there. And that place, the Water Garden place, is really, 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 really nice. It has a whole bunch of different styles of. Have you seen those motion waters that go up like this? It was stuff like that. Um, and they had like little music playing, and they had food trucks, and a whole bunch of vendors um, just participating and, and getting their business or, or organization out there so people can start um, engaging with the community. We had a DJ, they had entertainment. So that was that. That was on Saturday. We left there like at 4. Once we get some lunch. We ate at um, Old South Pancake. And I had myself a chicken fried steak and a stack of pancakes. Um, I think it was like a family owned business. It's, it, was, it's, it's, it was really good. I just, I wasn't too fond of their pancake part. I like pancakes, don't get me wrong. I love pancakes. But for some of the pancakes were different. They had, it tasted more of a, like a cornbread pancake type like in versus of a buttermilk pancake. So, but, I don't know, it was good. And then on Sunday, woke up, had breakfast. And they have a day two picnic in the park. Same concept, it's a festival, but it's free. Entertainment. Food vendors, uh, other vendors, and um, of course, us Pride San Antonio was out there representing San Antonio and giving them information. When San Antonio's Pride will be in 2019. Give me a second, guys. In 2019, so when um, we're setting up, we set up next to the vendors that we set up to last night. For some reason, they had us together again. Um, we thought we were gonna expect, we thought we were gonna expect a lot more people, but it didn't because we figured out that Dallas, Texas, had a state fair. This weekend, so we're thinking that a lot of people went over there to the state fair versus up to this festival over here. So there's two festivals going on at one time. So um, Fort Worth, uh, the Terra County Pride got the, the least amount of crowd <clears throat> to participate. But we make the best of it. Um, we just sat there, make the best of it, and do what you gotta do. What's that? So, the vendors next to us, if y'all know what Pride is, Pride is a lot of condoms, lube, people dressing crazy, like half naked. It's crazy out there. Girls wearing pasties, no bra on, no shirt, just pasties and like some short shorts. And guys are out there with just like thongs and glitter beards and everything. So, Pride is a gay um, community festival, but they're welcome. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. So, next to us was, I forgot the name of the company that was selling these products. Let's sell them. They were giving them away. You spin the wheel. There are certain stuff like free hugs or a high five or pick something off the table. So we just I decided to do it. So I spin the wheel and I got to pick something off the table. Something off the table was a wide variety of body oils, um, hand creams, and um, of course lubrication, 
flavored lube, like watermelon flavor, strawberry flavored. Um, so a lot of flavoring lubes there, and it was just crazy. So I saw this. This picked my attention. I used it this morning, and I read it. Before I tell you the name of it, it says it's shaving cream. It's shaving cream. And I have very sensitive skin when I shave. I get like razor bumps and stuff like that. So I have very sensitive, so I have to watch what I use when I shave. So it says best shave cream for rash free, sexy skin everywhere, especially formulated with skin loving ingredients to provide a shave so smooth you can skip a day of shaving. The pros of this, there's no cons, it's just nothing but good stuff. It says protects and soothes skins from razor cuts and irritation. Helps prevent embarrassing shave bumps and ingrown hairs for sexy skin perfect for intimate shaving as well as legs, underarms, face, and body. So I used it on my beard, and you see right here in this area right here, I get like razor bumps right here because of my razor, of my, sin, my skin being so sensitive. With this, it didn't give me that razor bump effect, and it didn't make me bleed. So that is a plus, right? Enhance. You could also use this as enhancing with hair and skin moisturizing agency. So basically, it's so luxurious you can use this. Uh, Body Shave Plus conditioner on your hair after shampooing. So you can use this as a conditioner and it's going to help you condition your hair as well. The, f the, the, co the color, I mean the, f uh, the scent of it is Slick Chick, Slick Chick Pear Berry. So basically it has no sugar in there of course. There's no animal tested. It's safe for all types of skin. And what is that to tell you? This really helps me help me out I use it for the first time and I'm I love the results for this and basically it's called if y'all want to know I don't know I've got the name of the vendor if y'all want to look it up y'all can look it up and y'all can buy it online if you want to but it's called it's called coochie shave gel it says rash free <laughs> it's called coochie you see, coochie. That's the that's the name of it, and it's rash free. And then, of course, it's a shaving cream. It's a shave cream, and you know what? I know a lot of guys are like, "Oh, that's that's not that's for girls for legs and for their armpits or whatever." I go, but you know what? This is a miracle. It's fucking like it leaves my skin real nice and soft. And I feel good. So I'm going to continue using this because this is what works for me. So, and I really like it. So if y'all want to, y'all can go out, look online. I don't know what the name of this place was, but you can maybe could get it. And it's called Coochie. That's the name of it. The brand. And it's a shave cream. It's a shave cream. And this one's called Slick Chick Pear Berry. And it has, this one's really good. That one's real good. So that's what, what that was the thing I picked off the table. Ooh, that's one the well. And just try it and see what it is. So today before school, I took a shower. I mean I shaved first. And when I shaved, I started noticing that it was a smooth shave. A smooth shave on my face. And it gave me a really close shave. So I will continue to use it. But It's really good. I like it. I like it. So if you have a chance to go online, Google it or whatever, because I don't remember the name of the of the vendor that was out there. But um, yeah, it's coochie, <laughs> and it's rash free, so it won't get you no rashes in your coochie, girls. So it's a bit good. So that was my weekend in Fort Worth, Texas.
I'm trying to come on and do this quick video. This is from Circle K. I'm about to tell you. Circle K is our corner store. And I went to put gas and I saw hot dogs in. I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and do a hot dog mukbang and tell them that I hit my hundred subbies. I have my hundred subscribers. Thanks to Claudia. My man Claudia Cotton, this is my aunt. Go check her channel out. She started doing videos too, so go check her channel out as well. If you're not subscribed to her. And my friend Angelina. Go check her channel out too. If you're not subscribed to her. And Bittersuit Rose and Miguel's channel. We're all we gotta just lift each other up and support each other. Um just want to come up here and welcome, welcome all my new subbies to my channel. Hopefully, I could be doing a lot more stuff on here because I have a little bit more time now. Um, I'm always up for requests. I do live in San Antonio, Texas, so I'm always up for requests. And if I have it, I will do it. And if I don't have it. If we don't have that restaurant, then we can pick something else. But, welcome. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all my people that have been there for me. Thank you. Um, I'm still ideal trying to see what's a good number for me to hit before the, the, this year ends. But I know for a fact... Um, I would do a video, another video on it saying how many subbies I want before the end of the year. And then in the beginning of the year, I'll do a giveaway of a piece of jewelry that I sell. I sell jewelry. So, a piece of jewelry I sell through paparazzi or some gift cards. I'm just not, I just don't know yet. So, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you to all my peoples out there welcome 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 um shout out to claudia go watch her videos angelina and bittersweet rose and miguel of course to my number one person that's always um uh watches my videos and uh gives me good feedback on everything as well is fit angie and i know smash mama hasn't been on here in a while she hasn't been on here in a while. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with her. And she, hope she's okay. But she's always one of my other ones as well. So, I'm done. Thank you for watching. If you don't remember, sharing is caring. Share this video with everybody, anyone, any who. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Remember, comment below. Like this picture. Subscribe, turn that bell on so you know when I put new videos up. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not let you down. Peace and love. Bye.